which I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my console still on his regular dash. I'm going to try to boot it up and show you. It's still booting up to its um, stock dash, which is right here. As you can see, is it's an older version actually it was on dash it was on dash one five five seven four point zero as you can see all right so all right I'm going to shut it off. Bring it back. Actually, first thing we gotta do is program that the sucker. We didn't program that yet. So what I gotta do is I have a one they run a specific for that, which is it has connectivity. You'll see it's written on the letters. Uh, I would go so you can't mess up. Um, so it will be going. Let me disconnect the power. It will be going. It will be going like this guys. I'll be right back. All right, we're going to program it. I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. Um, but it goes. As you can see, it's, I don't know if you can see, if you're not, I'll zoom up a little bit so I can see better. Right on top, you'll see the letters, how they match. All right, that's how it's going to go. So let me hook up my uh, cool runner. All right, so I'm going to go. I'm going to show you on a computer how everything is done. What you're going to do is you're going to go into advanced, uh, custom NAND CR functions. You're going to click on X, XSVF. Uh, you got to find the file that you want to upload. So mine is obviously, I believe it's in my documents. The RGH Fed timing files. Should be underneath here. So we're gonna try with one of those. Since this goes from RGH 1212 to RGH 3030, so I will figure go about the middle 18 or 21. Let's try 21. So I'm gonna click on this one. Alright, we're gonna be pressing run. We're going to be turning, I'm going to show you on the chip. When you press run, it will, the light blue will come on. So it's programming it right now, guys. So.
All right, so this chip is programmed. Bring it back on the J-Runner. Let me zoom out so you can see the whole screen. So now I disconnected my J-Runner. So now I'll connect another J-Runner that I have. Uh. All right, so now what we got to do left is we're going to create ECC. Okay, so it's creating ECC. So now I'm going to connect. J runner into these wires, your NAND wires. Make sure it's on. Okay, once you connect that, make sure it's plugged in, but not powered on, just plugged in. And write ECC. So now it's writing ECC to the console. Now this console will not boot into the stock dash anymore because now you overrode the image. That's why we're going to try to boot it after this into Zell. So she's saying tight. What I'm going to do is disconnect J runner. You always disconnect the power for a few minutes and for a few seconds actually. Connect it back on. Now let's try to boot it. Let's see if it boots up. Well, it's glitching. Well, this fucker's glitching, guys. It is not booting. Somehow, it's not booting. There you go. Woo! It took a fucking long time. Motherfucker. It did boot. Alright, so that file that I showed you, it might not be the right one for it. So, but I'm going to keep it at that for now. Then I'm going to play around with another file. So now it's booting the Zells. So, now. It is your CPU key and your DVD key. It's written right there. So what I'm going to do is go back in, into JRunner. What I'm going to do is connect you, you can copy that number and write it in it says CPU key but I'm going to connect it to the internet Um, it's supposed to be an IP address right there. Uh, you can see it's uh, 
192.168.99. Uh, so I want to try to. get that IP address. You know what? Let me shut this off and try to boot it again. Let's see how long it's going to take. So I'm going to shut it off. Okay, let's try to boot it up again. Alright, let's see. I'm going to put a time clock on. All right, I'm going to put a time clock on it. I'm going to put it on right here to see. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to boot it. Same time, I'm going to press start. Let's see how long it's going to take to boot. I might have to change that file to a different trying to go in into the ego. Actually not bad. Twenty-two seconds? I could live with that. Alright, I could live with twenty-two seconds. Twenty-two seconds. So let's see. Actually now the IP address is different IP address. So now you see down here is my IP address 124 so I'm gonna do is go into JRunner what's gonna happen is you're gonna go into right here you copy that IP address 124 and you click on get CPU key sometimes it takes a little while I don't see it's not getting the IP address all right maybe something I'm definitely not copying that number All right, let me try another line. Another line for the IP address. Sometimes these things go wrong. All right, let's see. Let's boot this fucker again and do it again. Now I got a different line, it's going to be a different IP address. Let's, uh, I'm going to clock it again. Reset. Let's see how long it's going to take this time.
There you go. 20 seconds. Not bad. All right, 20 seconds. Let's see. IP address. It's the same IP address. All right, so let me try it again. No Xbox detected. Ah, come on. Are you kidding me? Oh, uh, guys, usually it does work. Somehow today it's not going to work. No Xbox detected. Uh, I guess we got to do the old-fashioned way. I got to do the old-fashioned way, guys. Got to write it in a piece of paper. So that's all I got to do. All right, well, since he doesn't want to do it, try one more time.
All right, I guess not. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna put Alright, we're going to put it manually, so. There you go, guys. <laughs> so it's all in manually. Fucker. You don't want to do it. So, as you see, it's all pull up the DVD key right there. All right. So now, what we got to do is, I'm going to shut the console off. You're going to disconnect the power from the console for a few few seconds uh, we're going to connect J runner plug J runner into the NAND wires connect the console back on what we're going to do now we're going to create image actually create XE build image all right so let's click on it well yeah okay the hell happened I have no idea what happened guys just all right let's uh, see the working folder So, ooh, get the second one. So, what we're going to do is, since we did that, since that happened, I'm going to do is, I'm going to, I'm going to change that timing file to see what happens, see if it gets a better. Let me do the timing file. I'm going to change the timing file. different see if it boots up better uh, so I did 21 let me do 18 see how it does so I'm gonna run it All right, complete it. So now what I'm gonna do is, trying to boot up the console with this timing file. See if it boots up good, quicker. 22 seconds was pretty good. Let's see if 18 does a better, a better booting time. All right, so let's turn it on. Reset my watch to zero.
Remember, it's on 18 before it was on 21. Let's see if this is a better timing file. That's how you can check and see if it... There you go. 19 seconds. So this is actually a little better. So it booted up to Zell. There you go. So what I'm going to do is... Try... I'm going to try to create XC build. I don't know what happened before. Okay. Okay, we're gonna try to create XC build. Let's see what happens. Okay, delete it unless you put it there. Yes, yes. So now it's why is it this doing to me? Why is it I have no idea why is it doing that. So I'm gonna do is Let's try it again. I'm gonna go to outputs. Nothing there because it's not in you know, this J runner. So I'm gonna do is go into downloads, J runner, outputs, file. Image one, load extra image two. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create go glitch two, create ECC again, write ECC, This is really annoying. It's really annoying, guys. I can't figure it out. Um, let's do it again. Restart again. Go into downloads. J runner output my console ID number two. This is your CPU key. And what I'm gonna do is glitch two. Uh, I'm gonna create ECC again. Write ECC. Oh, device not found. Oh, that means sometimes you gotta disconnect it and connect it back on. Because it's a pain in the ass. Let's see if it does it again now. Write ECC. It's right in this image. Let's see, create XE build. Let's see if it happens. It's creating its XE build image. Come on! 
What's taking us so long? Can't be finished. No way. It's not giving me all the good stuff. Uh, see, I have no idea what's going on here, guys. I have no idea what's going on. Start all over again. Nice, right, telling me it's the wrong version. Oh my god. Now it's giving me one error block, so so there's something that's going on here. It's not <clears throat> I have no idea what's going on here. Somehow this video is being very long. Let me try it again. source this is my nine my nand this is up flash but I don't like it I want to delete that so I want to do is and then two glitch to going to create ECC Right ECC All right, let's try to do this the way you go. You're going to cycle the console, disconnect the J runner, disconnect the console, connect the J runner back on. Power to the console. But don't turn it on. Let's see. Create XE build. The fuck? I don't need this crap. Why does it keep doing that? Uh, J Runner stinks. Let me try this J Runner. I got it in my USB. See, I got two different J Runners, guys. See, nothing in the output on this one. So we got to go into. Documents. Uh, Downloads actually. It's in my other J runner. 
So I gotta somehow try to do it that way. I'm gonna create ECC, write ECC. Okay, now just create image. No image here, no dump, no up, up flash dump. No up flash pi file. So image is not created yet. So what the hell's going on? XC build. There you go. Fuck me, man. This took a freaking long time. Holy shit. All right, guys. It's all here. But look at fucker. It took a long time. Wednesday, March 21st, 2018. Hit motherfucker. All right. So now you're going to power the console again. Disconnect. J runner and connect the console back on don't power it just connect the power to it turn J runner back on and you're gonna write so now up, up flash folder should be right there see up flash folder so just write NAN back to the console okay now continue Urgh, my luck today's it is fucked up, dudes. Let's try it again. Right man to the console. Come on, baby. Oh, thank gosh. It's writing its image to the console. Oh. There you go, guys. Its image is being written after all this crap time. But this is actually a pretty good way, because if it ever happens to you guys, you got to keep doing the same thing. Don't give up. That's why I have two J runners running on different. One running on my USB, and another one is running in my computer, my PC. So we'll wait till this is finished. We'll turn the console back on. You'll see it's on dash. One seven five one one, and and if you don't like this timing file, the way it boots up, it could always change it. Uh, it can go back and change it to a different. Now you don't have to mess around with the ECC or write ECC. Create XC build. All you gotta do is just, just mess around with the file. Now, I'll show you. Um, after we do all of this, I had no freaking idea why would that happen. One J runner didn't work, my other one worked. So, they're all the same. Just one is on USB and one is on a PC.
Wow, it's done, guys. All right, let me disconnect J. Rana. Power it off, power off on the console. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it back to the console. I'm gonna boot this fucker back up. You will see I'll have my time clock timing it again. Let's boot it up. Yeah, I think I'm going to switch this timing file. Yeah, I definitely like Cool Runners a lot better than this. There you go. 49 seconds. So, alright, so now here it is, right there, guys. So it took 49 seconds to boot up. So I'm going to switch it. Here goes. Uh, I'm going to show you the dashboard. There you go. 175110. All right. You guys remember what dash used to be on it? So, so now what I'm going to do is this video's not over yet. I'm going to try to switch that timing file. Shut. <coughs> I'm gonna get my disconnect the power on the, on the console. I'm gonna go and switch this timing file. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the console. I'm gonna go advance. You're gonna go into find your file. We're gonna try the 24. All right, I'm gonna press run, but I want to show you on the on the console how this is. Uh, it's gonna light up. Okay, I want to hit run. So the blue, the light blue light is on. It's writing the image I mean the image it's right in the file the X uh, the X S D F alright so it's done so now I'm gonna disconnect it we're gonna boot it up again to see how it does with this with this file Let's see how it does.
I guess the higher you go, it's not better. So maybe you should go lower. I guess it's not good enough. I don't like it. All right, I'll shut it off and change it again. Shut it off. Disconnect the power in the console. Going to do it again, guys, until we get it right. That's how you do it. Make sure you connect it the way it's facing the right way. All right, so I'll go back on the console. I'm gonna go back to the files. We did 21, 24, and 18. Let's do 15. We're gonna press run. So now it's 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 running on the console. All right, so it's finished. All right, so let's try to boot it up with this file. Let's see. We're going to do it until we get it right. And comfortable timing. So we're going to power the console back on. Connect it. Boot it. And stop. There you go. Let's see. Yeah, like you see, maybe that file's no good either. So it's taking too long to see that. All right, most likely this file's no good either because it's already on uh, a minute something. So I'm going to stop it. We're going to put the file that we started with. It's uh, one. It was 12.21, I believe. Yes, 12.21. So, go back to computer, click on, you're going to find 1221, you're going to run. So it's writing this thing. It could be here all day long doing this. It won't affect the console. Cause just write in whatever you want. So now we'll power the console back on. We'll turn it on. Start. Let's see how long it's going to take. There you go. This takes 40 seconds. 
So 21 takes about 40 seconds. So now we're going to try the 18 again. All right. So let me try the 18 again. I'm going to try the 18 again, guys.